Hey everyone, this is Aaron Greenberg from Team Xbox. I'm excited to be coming to you here live from my kitchen. I'm drinking nonstop drinks out of the world's fastest, most powerful fridge. We're moments away from a huge inside Xbox. Uh, first, I wanna let you know, a lot of people have been wondering, what are we doing this summer? Well, we're not taking the summer off, we're working hard. Teams cannot wait to deliver new games, new reveals, new news for you. So it's time to get hyped. You're gonna see today the first ever Xbox Series X gameplay from our partners around the world. Damon Baker and Sarah Bond, the leader of our partnership team, have brought some of the best developers and creative teams to the table. They're gonna be joined by Jeff, Katarina, and Malik. Team Xbox coming in strong. It's an exciting day. We know fans have been waiting for this, but also we know you're wondering what's going on with Xbox Game Studios. You guys have 15 creative teams now around the world. You blew us away at XO19. You blew us away at the Game Awards with Hellblade 2. We know you've got more. Of course we do. And with that, I want to welcome the head of Xbox Game Studios, Matt Booty, to tell us a little more. Thanks, Aaron. And hi, everybody. Uh, I want to start by saying that our first concern is really with the safety of our teams and, of course, their families. And that's why they are all working from home right now, whether it's in Sweden, the UK, Canada or the US. And I've really been impressed with the ingenuity and the creativity that they've shown to get around some of the challenges of working from home and to keep production moving forward on our great lineup of games. And so we're excited that we will begin unveiling gameplay from our studios starting in July, including some from our newer studios like Double Fine, Ninja Theory, and Obsidian. Woo! Whoa, 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 Matt, Matt, it feels like we might, might have left some off the list there. <laughs> yeah, and Aaron also, 343 and Halo. <laughs> That's right, it's time to get hyped. Halo's coming, Halo Infinite, you've been waiting. The world's most anticipated game, July, mark your calendars. Xbox Game Studios, we've got teams around the world that are working on big surprises, big reveals for you. I could not be more excited. I can tell you we're gonna work every week between now and then to deliver for our fans. But today we're gonna put the spotlight on our partners and let them shine and show you what Xbox Series X gameplay looked like. Let's have a go. What you just witnessed was Bright Memory Infinite from Playism, created from the ground up by a single individual at FYQD Studio in China. Developers are using the hardware to achieve their dreams and their nightmares in amazing ways, using the power to optimize their games the way they want. You know, higher resolutions, crazy frame rates, ray tracing, and yes, faster in-game load times. 
But it's also awesome to see the partner support for smart delivery, ensuring that fans only have to purchase the game once to enjoy it on whichever Xbox system they own or will own in the future. So over the next 25 minutes, we're going to debut just a slice of the amazing next-gen games you can expect from our partners this holiday and early next year. And because we read the interwebs, everything you see here will highlight the in-game experience with actual gameplay captured in engine to give you the best sense of what to expect when Xbox Series X launches later this year. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the following dreams being powered by Xbox. of chaos. Each trial, each tribulation, we have overcome. Now we live in an age of unprecedented peace. We have prevailed thanks to her. Let 
Let her ascension serve as proof of our righteousness. It is in her honor that we strive for chorus. with us. What's up, everybody? Thanks for letting me crash the show. This is Patrick Mahomes, quarterback for the Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs. I hope all of y'all been staying home, staying safe, and playing a ton of video games together. But hey, I'm here because I have the privilege of telling you this. Madden 21 is coming to Xbox Series X, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. It's been a journey that's older than me, and I was lucky enough to be a part of it this year. Like they say, you have to know where you've been to know where you're about to go. There's loads of Madden 21 news coming soon, and the game isn't just about what you can see, it's about what you can feel. Ah! But here's the best news, when you buy Madden NFL 21 on Xbox One, you get it free on Xbox Series X. I'm looking forward to it, and honestly, I'm ready to just get back on the field. Enjoy the rest of the show, and get ready to feel next level with EA Sports. Huge thanks to EA for giving us that sneak peek at Madden 21, optimized for Xbox Series X. I mean, that was awesome. So my name is Sarah Bond, and I lead partnerships for Xbox, which means I get to work with the thousands of developers and creators around the globe that are creating games on, with, and for Microsoft platforms. I just love my job because it's all about connecting creators and publishers with our fans around something that they love, games. And boy, have they been busy. They are creating right now games that are gonna define the generation, experiences that are just gonna blow your mind away. And I am thrilled to share with you that every major publisher worldwide is developing for Xbox. And we already have hundreds, hundreds of games coming to Xbox Series X in 2021. The support, it has just been tremendous, guys. I have never seen partners as excited about Xbox and Xbox Series X as they are right now. So why don't we take a look and see more of the great games that they have been working on. Let's show them how we do. 
Everyone grab a limb. Bye-bye now. What have you done? I've traveled so very far to find you. How strange that your trail ends here. The very island of my dreams. When you left, I was withering away. But here, on this extraordinary isle, I dare say I've found my strength again. I'm scared of what it means. I feel the call of something deep within. Whispers of things long forgotten. Will we be forgotten too? What did you find here, Harry? the Ascent Group main metropolis. Like you, most people have contracted their entire lives away to get here. Workers or indents, slaves in all but name. The Ascent Group Arcology on Velas has shut down. If the latter is true, corporate grab teams will already be moving in. This is a crisis supernova. The Ascent Group has collapsed. We have a shot at true independence. I won't let it go to waste. We wish to test your abilities by giving you a special assignment. Find out what happened.
Hi, hope you enjoyed the reveal of The Medium, our next-gen psychological horror game. We're very excited to announce that we're working on the project in cooperation with Akira Yamaoka, the legendary composer best known for the Silent Hill series. We'll have more to reveal soon, so stay tuned. So Sumeragi. My power is psychokinesis. Ready? ヤクザの端くれなら。けじめのつけ方ぐらいしてやろう。今、ジョーが勝負かれるわけにはいかねえ。勤めに行ってもらえねえか、一。喜んでやらせてもらいます。
天使がお前は人を怒らせる天才だな。こんにちは、えー、セガの名越俊弘です、えー、いよいよこの発表ができる日が、えー、参りました、えー、シリーズの最新作であるヤクザ・ライクア・ドラゴンを、えー、Xbox シリーズ X のローンチタイトルとして、えー、そして Xbox One や、えー、Windows 10で、えー、発売する運びとなりました、えー、全世界のファンはもちろんですね初めてこのタイトルを手にする方にも楽しんでいただきたいなというふうに考えておりますゲームの限界に挑戦する龍河如くスタジオの新たなる挑戦をぜひ見届けていただきたいなというふうに考えておりますヤクザライクアドラゴンをぜひよろしくお願いします I hope you all enjoyed this brief peek at just some of the titles we have lined up for Xbox Series X. This is just the beginning. And personally, I can't wait to get immersed in these amazing games. But until then, I'm just going to have to live out that fantasy via custom backgrounds in Microsoft Teams. How about I, I try out a few now? Maybe、uh, we'll go into the world of Scarlet Nexus, or maybe I could tear up the streets in Dirt 5, or, well, here's a quick view of. Phil Spencer's home office. Oh, wait a second. We've got this inside look at the next Assassin's Creed game. So, with that, I'm going to leave you with the gameplay debut of the highly anticipated Assassin's Creed Valhalla for Xbox Series X. Huge thanks to all of our partners for their hard work during these difficult times and to you at home for joining us. Stay tuned to go behind the scenes with a few of the creators of today's lineup and hear more about their thoughts on the next generation of game development. I'll see you later this summer for even more content premieres and announcements from Xbox Game Studios and our partners worldwide. Thanks so much. Titles command the respect and fandom that the Assassin's Creed series has garnered. And today, we get to talk about Assassin's Creed Valhalla with its creative director, Ashraf Ismail, who's joining us from Montreal, Canada. Bienvenue to Inside Xbox. Hey, Jeff. Pleasure to be here. I'm so glad that you're here because I'm a huge fan of the series. After seeing the video that we just saw, I have literally hundreds of questions to ask you. But before we get into Valhalla itself, did I just see new Assassin's Creed gameplay for the first time? Yeah, absolutely. That was、uh, directly from the game、uh, in all its Viking Age glory. Let's talk about the Viking Age because Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Origins, these took place in antiquity. They were sun drenched Mediterranean places. And this looks very different. It's a different time, different place. So, what do you have for us with the Viking Age? Yeah, so the, the Viking Age, it's named after one of history's most notorious warrior cultures. Uh, and this time period、uh, is highlighted by the invasion of England by this very large 
hungry Viking horde. And at the time, England was a dark age tangle of broken warring kingdoms. So this was an absolutely brutal, pivotal moment in history that gave us the birth of the England we know today. So players can expect uh, to fully live the Viking fantasy in a meticulously crafted journey in an Assassin's Creed world. All right, so let's let's get a little bit more into this. There was a lot to take in in that clip that we saw. I saw Viking longships. I saw some very mean looking axes. Uh, previously, we saw a hidden blade. So let's talk about some of the key new features that you're bringing to the table with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah, so our, our hero, Eivor, is a Viking raider who's going to leave the snowy mountains of Norway for the lush rolling hills of England, uh, propelled by the goal of settling their people and growing a thriving settlement. Now, England at this time is a hostile place. So uh, to succeed, players will go raiding uh, using their longships and raiding party. They'll assault giant fortifications and epic battles. They'll have to gain alliances with kings and legendary Vikings and they'll be faced with some very harsh choices as the leader of a community. Uh, along with that, where we've reinvented combat to be uh, visceral, brutal, uh, tons of enemy variety, dual wielding weapons. Uh, we have a new fresh take on uh, player progression, gear and weapon systems. We're effectively pushing every single envelope to deliver this incredible Viking fantasy. All of this is, is just music to my ears. Thank you so much. Uh, so. This whole show, we've been talking about the Xbox Series X. We're talking about next gen. So as a creative director, as someone creating a huge epic game, how do you take advantage of this new hardware? Well, uh, Assassin's Creed has always been committed to new technologies in order to push the most immersive experiences we possibly can. And so to have something like incredibly fast loading times means that we can remove some of that friction from the immersion and create a game that's much more immersive. Norway and Dark Ages England are breathtaking living worlds. So to be able to push them further to their incredible potential, this is really wonderful for us. It's, it's wonderful for our players. And additionally, uh, I'm very happy to confirm that we are also offering smart delivery which allows you to purchase the game once and play it on your Xbox One and the Xbox Series X. That is great news, I think, for all the Assassin's fans out there. They'll be able to enjoy it on the hardware they have now, maybe on the hardware that they are looking forward to getting later this year. Thank you so much, Ashraf Ismail, for joining us and for sharing the very first details on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I cannot wait to see more. Absolutely, it's my pleasure. We have seen so many great games today showcasing gameplay for Xbox Series X. So let's go to Malik right now with Robert Cart from Codemasters to talk Dirt 5. All right, everyone, just a few minutes ago, you saw the revealed trailer of Dirt 5, and it, I kind of was left speechless, but I'm going to have to get it together here because we're going to dive even deeper into everything. Right now, we have Robert Karp, who is Dirt 5's development director, in the driver's seat to talk about what's next for the series. Robert, how are you? I'm very well. How are you, Malik? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Excited to dive into this. Now, Dirt 5, obviously the newest game in the series. Um, let's start with locations because kind of the backdrop is kind of important for a racing game. So where are we going to be going in Dirt 5? So you saw from the trailer, we had New York, then we went to China and then we went to Norway. We've got lots more environments than that. But each of the environments are bespokely created based in real worlds for the tracks and the event types that we play in there. So for New York, for example, you saw us racing over the East River when it was frozen in winter, but you can play in New York in the summer and spring and autumn. And there you'll be able to race along Roosevelt Island on a couple of different tracks. That gives you a totally different experience. After that, we go to Brazil, we take in the favelas and Christ the Redeemer. We have tracks in Europe and Italy and Arizona. So there's really a, a really wide range of tracks with a really colorful and wide, different color palette that offer really interesting, different experiences. 
Uh, super cool. I'm excited to see all the different locations as well as how the weather's going to change. I'm personally a New York boy, so I'm excited to race in New York. Uh, but it is a racing game after all, so let's talk about some of the cars that we're going to be able to jump into. We have one of the widest ranges of vehicles that we've had in a dirt game ever before. So you've got the rally cars that you saw, you saw some buggies in China. We also have sprint cars, which are really cool and interesting. They go around ovals, they only turn left. Each of their wheels is like a different size, with the front one at the left the smallest, the back one at the right the biggest. They've got 900 horsepower, and you just basically drift all the way around the oval, kicking up big plumes of smoke, which is really fun. Oh, that's super, super cool. Of course, everyone's going to be excited for more, right? More cars, more different types of vehicles. That's pretty cool. Um, now, let's talk about the experience when gamers, when the players jump into the game. What are some things that veteran Dirt franchise players are going to no notice? And what are some things that, you know, they're going to notice for the first time ever? So I think uh, jumping into the career, they're going to notice the kind of agency or the choice of the different events. But some of the new things that are new to the franchise and one of the ones I'm most excited about is four player split screen. So in, in career or in arcade mode where you can pick your event type and your vehicle type and your time of day, how quickly the, the time changes and what the weather's going to change, you can play that with your friends. So on launch day, when you get your Xbox Series X home, you boot it up, you invite a few friends over, you can all race together. That's super exciting. Uh, four play sp split screen, something that we uh, always want to see because it's always good to have your friends around and play some games on the couch. So that's pretty cool. Um, now let's shift gears a bit into the career mode. Uh, obviously the Dirt franchise known for the career mode and taking you through a bunch of different races. Can you talk a bit about the story there? And I hear Little Birdie has told me that there's a very dynamic duo in the voiceover booth. Uh, let's talk about that as well. Uh, there is there is a dynamic duo. So uh, one of the things that I really enjoy about the career is the real world sponsors. So as you race, you'll sign up to real world sponsors who'll give you rewards and pay you to race for them. And talking you through that will be your mentor. He'll help guide you, give you tips and hints. And that's voiced by Troy Baker. Greetings from the booth, everybody. And there's really only one person to have as the protagonist to Troy ba Baker, yeah. who's the nemesis, and that's Nolan North. Thrilled to be working with Codemasters on this, playing a very pivotal character per usual. Um, also, you're going to see some pretty recognizable faces in this game, so you don't want to miss it. So as you race, you'll, be, you'll have to beat him if you want to win the career. Uh, that's super exciting uh, because one, I'm excited to jump into the career, but two, uh, I feel like a lot of players uh, are going to be happy about having both Troy Baker and Nolan North in the same video game, so that's going to be pretty, pretty exciting. Now, uh, again, we're super happy that Dirt 5 is part of the reveal of the first gameplay for Xbox Series X. So let's talk about some of the things that we're going to see that are specific to Xbox Series X. So Dirt 5, you'll be able to play at 4K at 60 FPS, but there'll also be an option for 120 Hz mode. So, you know, gamers know frame rate counts, 120 Hz in racing, that's where the action's at. On top of that, Dirt 5 will leverage the smart delivery technology. So you buy the game on Xbox One, you can play on Xbox Series X as soon as you get the new console. You buy on Xbox Series X and you go over, you have an Xbox One in your house or in another room and you want to play in there, you can play Xbox One. So you'll always be playing the best version. And lastly, is the fast loading. So that means that you get into the game almost instantaneously from turning on the console. No more waiting. You're in there, you're racing straight away. I love everything that you just said there. You buy the game, you get the best version for the platform that you own. You get in the game, loading times are a thing that everyone hates, so minimizing that is fantastic. And then you get to choose between 4K 60 and 120 frames per second. Um, so that is pretty cool. Again, uh, Robert, thank you so much for stopping by. I gotta say that I probably speak for everyone watching when, there is, when I say that we're super excited to see Dirt 5 uh, on Xbox Series X coming up this year. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me. All right, we've already seen so many games so far, but the train's going to keep rolling, so we're going to throw it over to Katarina, who's with the Bluebird team, to talk about Medium. Horror games are a fan favorite, and the Medium promises to keep us guessing and our hearts racing. Here to tell us more about the game is Jack, game producer from the Bluebird team. Thank you so much for joining us, Jack. Hi, hello. Can you tell us more about this game and the Bluebird's team approach to the psychological horror genre? In our first psychological horror that was Layers of Fear, it was the main topic was uh, what can you sacrifice for your family? Can you sacrifice yourself or you, need, or you want to sacrifice yourself for your passion to fulfill yourself? And the second uh, our game, it was Observer. 
And then uh, the main topic, it was if I'm still human, if my mind maybe is digitalized or if I have robotic parts, where is the line, you know, like in the body horror stuff. Uh, and in the Blair Witch, of course, there was the witch, there was the forest that, uh, have, that everyone loves. But in the main topic, in the psychological horror stuff, it was PTSD. So for the medium, we have like two worlds in our game, real world and spirit world. We play as a medium that can see this both realities so we can think that somebody can be a really good guy but maybe inside it's not and when you, when you play as a medium you have a really unique perspective to find out what is inside of other people and on or what happens in different places for the medium we heard that you teamed up with legendary music composer akira yamaoka can you tell us more about that partnership and how that influenced the game Yeah, he's, he's the best now, of course, for, for composing the music for Silent Hill series. And what was most important for us, it was his work on Silent Hill 2. Because Silent Hill 2, uh, for most of our team, is the best horror game ever. And it's one of our main references when we think about atmosphere in the medium. Because in, a, in, in a one way, his music is, you know, heavy, disturbing, oppressive. And in another way, it can be nostalgic, emotional, and melodic. And to bump it up more, we cooperate Akira with our composer, Arkadiusz Rykowski, that create our other uh, scores for our other games and mix these two approaches together to fill up our two worlds and our different points of view. So it was really, it is and it was really great fun. This game is really characterized by those two worlds. Can you talk to us more about the story and um, and these two worlds and how the players can look forward to that? Yeah, so you play as a Marianne and she's a medium and like she can cope with this, that she can, she goes or that she can see the spirit world, the second world, but she's like uh, haunted by really one specific vision that she tried to solve. And she has some kind of a hint that the answers can be in abandoned community's vacation resort. It's like an old hotel. So she go there and then she need to, you know, find out how the vision is connected with this place and what dark mystery is there. And there two worlds came up because our real world uh, and our real world setting is like it's Poland, late 80s, Krakow. Krakow is a very important city for Poland history. It was a city of kings. And it's, of course, city of Blueberry. We have company here. We live here. We, we love the city. Uh, and, you know, it is, it's a free Poland in that time. But because in the 80s and before, we live under the regime, communist regime, and there was like no free, free of speech. There was everything was censored. And when you play as a medium, you have this unique opportunity to see even further than normal people because you see the spirit world. And spirit world is like, dark mirror of our world, like when all your like anger, urges, secrets are reflected there. So uh, it's also hostile world in some way. So only medium can like, you know, solve some puzzles, some mysteries and survive that kind of encounter. Horror and uh, is really a genre that um, uh, can really take advantage of some very immersive gameplay. What are some of the Xbox Series X features that the Bluebird team has harnessed to make sure that you can deliver this epic next-gen title with the medium? Yeah, of course, first of all, uh, it's the horsepower is the hardware. So having that powerful stuff as a foundation for our game, it's, like, it's awesome because we spent a lot of years to thinking about this game, how we can fulfill our dreams about it. But we have a problem with the platform. Like everything we thought it's too weak to fulfill uh, our vision. But then uh, Xbox Series X came up and we thought, yeah, this is perfect match for us. And now a lot of doors were open for us to, to be like, creative and do the game as we want it. And uh, like the second most important stuff is the seamless gameplay. Like, you know, steady FPS and no loading screens. Because, you know, you have like immersive horror cinematic experience and you have two worlds. You can travel between them. You can travel between them, you can travel between the levels and the whole, the sto and whole story and not having any, you know, loading screens and any FPS drops 
it's like awesome. And of course, we use Xbox Series X in different ways, uh, in, in many different ways, but I will leave this maybe more for the future. So stay tuned, guys. Ooh, mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> I think I speak for all the fans when I say that I'm super excited to play the medium when it launches on the Xbox Series X. Thank you so much for joining us today, Jack. Also, thank you very much. I want to give a special thank you to all of our developers from around the world who pulled out all the stops to share this first look at Xbox Series X gameplay with all of you today. Uh, it's also great to see how many developers are taking advantage and leveraging things like smart delivery, really putting our fans first. And of course, we're doing that with all of our Xbox Game Studios titles. And as I said, we're not taking the summer off. Today is just the beginning. It's time to get hyped because in July, it's Xbox Game Studios World premieres, reveals, lots of news. Mark your calendars. We'll see you then.